All right, so here on mom's truck, we're gonna do it the other way. I uh, went and got a new battery for it. Little, uh, I think the other one is a little bit older, but I don't know exactly the date. It didn't look like, it was very old, but this battery I got out of Riley's. A little bit of a difficult time getting the terminal ones on. But so this truck has a 460 four valve big block. Um I don't know much about this gas engine or other side. I know it makes a lot of power. Um I forgot to put it on their special thingies they had on these batteries. They got green and red. So, and make sure my shirt's covering my belt buckle so I don't scrape up the side of the truck because I've had that happen with my white one. And uh, yeah, so now we're just going to make sure this is snug and put it there. Put on the red one and tighten this one up and uh, I'll make sure I'll put a cardboard box in front of the yeah, freezers in the shop here for things and I want to make sure I don't get the any exhaust blown on them because uh, it sucks to clean off. There looks like there's gas in the carb. Okay, and then check the coolant. Maybe I could see. Yeah, it looks like it's got a little too much, but I think we'll be fine. This dipstick don't like to go in very well for some reason. Don't know why. Okay. Uh, does this have a trans dipstick? Does. That fluid looks really good. Even though you're supposed to check it when it's warm, you at least want to make sure there's fluid in it. Running a transmission dry is a bad idea. Like the Dodge uh, had a little mishap. Explain that a little bit. But all right, let's uh, see if you'll start. Make sure my box is in front of the exhaust. It is. kind of summertime the weather's getting hot out and we uh tend to put a water tank out in front of our parlor that way after the cows go through the barn they can get water before they go out to the pasture that way they're not completely dehydrated when they get to the pasture tank which are not hooked up yet because it's not quite hot enough but i'm gonna get there anyway so i have my hose so this hose already runs to my tank over there So, I don't have quite enough hose, so I got my other set of hose. I have to do this every year. But this year, I'm going to try something new. Because every year, 
because I don't run softened water for it, I just run normal water. Um, every year, my hose connections get seized and super tight. So I'm going to put some white goop or Fred sealant. We'll see if this works. I don't know. But put this on there to see if it will, because uh, it's non hardening, so it's kind of like a grease, and see if it will. Uh, make it not so where they don't seize because we have a uh, higher iron content in our water because a lot of our pipes are orange and stuff. So I'm going to just set you guys down right here. This hose is probably, I don't know, I've had it in the shop for about a year kind of waiting around and the upper end of this hose that I usually use it's going out to the new barn to water those calves because it's longer so I don't need the per se keep the extra length or that's why I'm using this but we'll just put some of this on it I can't it's kind of gross but I just want I want to try this to see if uh, it'll work or not um, because if it protects the threads then I'm saving a lot of reading time because the reason I am not using the upper hose is because it's kind of seized onto the upper hose that's connected so I kind of want to just try this. Okay, yeah, the upper end here, you probably can't see it, but it's got a hose gasket. So we're just going to spread this on, spreading it really nice and easy. And then just so tight. I don't know if they designed this concrete slab or not, but its gap is wide enough. Ooh, as I slip, it's wide enough for my hose to get into. That way, no one trips on it. All right, I'm gonna run this hose, and then uh, I'll get back with you guys. Okay, so we got this water hose ran. So there's a bunch of clutter in here. We got other projects going on, like the parlor remodel that I'm gonna let uh, mom share and her stuff. So go find her somehow. And then, so we have all my extra hose reeled up right here, nice and tight. It's rough. So we're running it off the big. Okay, so here's how it works. The plate cooler sends water because earlier I fixed this pump. Right, this this video spread over a couple of days. But after it cools the milk, plate, the plate cooler water shoots out there to tanks outside. Those two tanks outside then come back in to just supply the pump. This is how we recycle the water technically. Um, it doesn't get dirty or anything, we just recycle it. So now we uh, take the uh, water out of the two tanks and then it could supply now the big hose which we use to wash down supply the pasture water line and then now supplying this tank outside hose um just making sure there's no leaks here which why is this all wet is there a leak up here it shouldn't be why is this wet uh, this is all dry that's what's that's confusing Maybe it's leaking here. Oh, I think it is leaking right there. Or condensation, one of the two. I don't know. I'll have to dry it off and see. Okay, so anyway, we run this hose. Okay, this is going on to outside. It's right there. Right there. And we run it outside along the barn. And then for this tank, it has to have to be a top fill because the inspectors get a little inspectors the way they are. Um, has to be a top fill, which this is taking forever to fill for some reason. And then, yeah, so now the cows come straight out of the parlor, drink, go outside. So that's what it has to be. So, another project done. And this piece of grass will always be green because of the mist blowing off. But each uh, hose connection has bread sealer, and we'll see uh, how they turn out. So. Yep, another project done. Yeah, it's not too bad. Oh, looks like we're getting rain. 
All right, so this video kind of could just consist of some random stuff, right? And hopefully you guys enjoyed all that content. Um, I don't know if I ex explained what's going on with the trucks, but they're both back and they're both finally running. The, you know, the Dodge, U-joints, T-case, whole driveline practically redone. Um, so it's good to go now um, after injectors and everything. Um, but just don't rough house with these because um, stuff's not built to last anymore. So like it just breaks. I guess, but, yep, they're both good to go, don't mind the grinder, the grinder, I was just cutting up some stuff earlier and haven't taken care of it yet, but that's what I'm going to do next, um, so, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed those couple projects I'm working on, um, those might be the types of videos I do for a little bit here, um, just because, um, I'm trying to clock in as many hours as I can because I have to pay for college this fall and pay for the fuel price for these two first day beasts, <clears throat> I'm definitely not driving around anymore as I used to be. Driving's a, it's kind of like watching a movie. It's a fun time, but you don't want to do it every day or it gets boring and expensive. So if you only watch a movie once a week, then you only drive your truck once a week and kind of furious. I don't know, I'm only down to like three times a week, week leaving the house, I think. No, I don't know. It's no different than COVID, you know. We were all told to stay in, but now when we are allowed to go out, where it's too expensive for us to go out. So, um... I am going to, the only thing on the Dodge I think it needs is alignment. Both trucks need alignment, I think, but the Dodge needs an alignment, and then I need to get the CB fixed. But other than that, um, I think they're both ready to go. I mean, they're both ready to go. That truck box might get put in this one. I got to figure out how I'm going to shine it up. Um, the reason is, is this truck box, the lids are like, the aluminum's ripping, and... I don't know if I feel like welding it up or if I feel like just putting the lights in this one because this one is bigger in width, I think. Um, and that truck box is out of the old Dodge. Um, so there's no... I'm not going to put it in the new Dodge because I think it would wreck the look. Um, and I mean, that, that truck, it looks good with that truck box and that's about it. Um, but yeah, so I uh, haven't done much towing. I took a load of scrap today. Um, with the Dodge and uh, it did pretty good but um, yeah so I also want to clean up this concrete pad that way I can park like another truck here um, that we don't use a lot that way you know kind of cool to have free trucks here it would also be cool if I could extend the shop and have free garage bays here and have like a full on shop but that's also too expensive all right, enough of me rambling on. Um, how do I usually end these? I forgot. Oh, haha. <laughs> so uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you're new here. And we will see you in the next one. Peace. Is that usually how I end the intros? I don't know. I'm just going to go with it because, uh, golly, I've gotten way too far away from the camera. All right, cut.